Hey friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sambia. Very often when we post videos about how to straighten hair or smooth hair, we get questions about the hair textures like this that are thick and coarse and curly straight down right at the scalp. And how do you get down there and smooth out that hair right at the scalp? So here's the solution. Okay, here's the solution. And it's based off of a technique that's been around for a long time called bumping the bass. And we're not talking about that bass that when you used to put a huge speaker in the back of your Geo Metro back in high school, and it would make your trunk go kind of We're talking about the base of the hair. So the technique in the past is really similar to what we're going to do here. And it's taking a very, very thin section because when we're working with this sort of hair texture, you have to be very thin with the sections. If we take a very wide section, we're gonna heat up the outsides of the sections, but then the inside portion of the section is still not gonna get the heat. So we gotta take very small sections. And the technique is really just about applying heat as we stretch the hair. So one thing that we're going to do is we're gonna make sure that we put some heat protectant on this hair. Because even though our iron doesn't get crazy, crazy hot where we're going to burn the hair strand, we still wanna get a little bit of heat protection in there. Be gentle with that. This is the Iron Shape 11 from Redken, and it has a touch of hold so that when we're straightening it, it actually holds the shape very well. But also that heat protection is going to help to just buffer the hair but we don't wanna to get too much product on the hair. We wanna be kind of gentle with it. So at first just go through and release the tangles. Now, especially on very, very kinky, tangly hair like this, if it's super tangly, you may not be able to get through it without some conditioner. So you might need to do that process when it's damp with some conditioner. But what we wanna do is start from the ends first and then work down. And by working at the ends first, we release the tangles at the ends, and then we kind of bring the tangles up, release the tangles from the ends. If we come to the base first, we're just gonna pack a bunch of tangles into the mid strand. So always start from the ends on tangly hair and work down. Once we get all those tangles out of the ends, we should be able to make a fairly clean pass through there. The reason that's so important is if there's tangles in there and we heat those up, we're gonna set them in. Now we're gonna take the hair and we're gonna stretch it really, really tight. And what we're doing is we're bringing those curls tight at the base. We're gonna take the iron, this is our sleeker iron and it has rounded plates, so it's gonna be more beneficial. If you have a square plate on this, it's gonna leave a line. We wanna make sure we don't leave a line. It's on high heat, but what we're going to do is we're not going to close the iron. We're just gonna pull tight and we're gently just going to rub the plate across the hair. And I'm rubbing from the back side because I'm kind of stretching it towards me a bit. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna to stretch to the opposite side. And again, just gently rub with those plates until the heat allows that curl to release at the base. So. We're not really using the tension of the iron. We're using the tension of the hand and then just allowing the heat of the plate of the iron to work that kink out of the hair. And again, then bring it across to the other side and work through. Now, if you wanna go through the ends, just take one more pass, put your fine teeth of your comb in front of your iron, clamp the iron, and trail behind the fine teeth of the comb. That's gonna lead all that hair into the comb so that it doesn't have a kink in it as it comes into the iron. If we don't put the comb in front of the iron, what will happen is those waves will make them their way inside the iron, and that's going to actually seal those waves into the hair. So you wanna make sure that you have the comb coming through first. So again, if you wanna do that little bump the base technique, it's all about pulling nice and tight, get that tension, release that curl out of the hair, and then just introduce heat very gently to either side of the hair. Now, what if you're doing a curling iron technique? Good question, let's grab a curling iron. Because maybe you wanna actually be curling the hair at the same time. 
Well, exact same thing. We'll take a very skinny, small section. And maybe this will be too small of a section for your curling technique, but you can always subsection these things. So maybe we'll go through and do a couple sections where we'll bump the base. Then we'll come back, pick up all three or four of those sections and do our curling technique. But we still wanna keep some curvature at the base. So again, we're gonna start our comb out at the ends and work from the ends down towards the scalp. Once we get this all combed through through the ends, come down a little bit lower and your comb should go through pretty easily at this point. If not, go back to the ends. Mannequin shedding a little bit. So again, if we're using a curling iron technique, we can do this as well with the curling iron. Now, one thing that's fun about this iron, this is our one and a half inch artist series. This is our one and a half inch artist series Marcel and wand. So how does it become a wand? You click this button and the spoon pops right off. Now, what's kind of nice about that coming off is I don't really need the spoon for this technique because it's just gonna get in the way and I don't need the tension that the spoon creates. So it's the exact same principle here. I'm gonna stretch that hair really tight away from me. Oh, almost forgot. Product, necessity, not an option. So iron shape 11 first for a little bit of heat buffer and for that bit of hold that it's gonna create in the hair, especially since we're doing that curling iron technique. Make sure you got all those tangles out of there. Create our tension, and then we're going to pull the hair tight away from ourselves and just introduce that heat. This is really a gentle motion because all we need is the heat. We don't need any tension from the iron. We just need it to release the bonds enough so that the tension that we're creating by pulling on the hair is actually what helps to release the curl. And then, like I said, if you were going to do a curling iron technique, this might be too skinny of a section for what you're gonna do on these ends. So you would take a few more sections, release that curl from the base, then take all of those sections at once and put it into the curling iron. So that gives you two different ways that you can approach this process. You can either do it with a flat iron or your curling iron, but the principle's the same. High tension, allow the heat to do the work. And the best part is, is this gives you a really movable piece of hair too. It's not going to feel so hard down here at the base. So the hair's still going to move for you. So if you have any ways that you like to do this or any questions on the technique, please leave them in the comments. We love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this helps you out behind the chair. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Villa.